You should live every day like it's your last, because tomorrow isn't promised. I hope to inspire you to see the smaller things in life, because those small things can really make a big difference. So, what makes your life worth living? Whether it's family, friends, pets, or even Netflix, everyone has something that makes their life great. Dr. Seuss once said that you'll miss the best things if you keep your eyes shut. To me, this quote means that if you don't start noticing the smaller things in life, you'll miss the bigger things that are more important. It can be easy to become immune to and much less grateful for the smaller things in our life. It can be a challenge to start noticing these smaller things and you might want to give up. To not give up, you have to think back to the times that you love, like spending quality time with friends and family. There are many hurdles that come with live, trying to live life to the fullest, two of those being time and money. You might not have enough time to go to Six Flags with your friends, or you might not have enough money. But you need to make the time. For example, you could work ahead and finish all of your homework early so that you could spend just 10 extra minutes playing outside with your little brother or sister. The American Psychological Association. I hope that you don't drop these challenges like a hot potato. You can't give up because if you give up, you won't ever achieve your greatest goals in life. The American Psychological Association says, that even though positive research shows it's not material goods that make our lives rich and fulfilling, but rather work, love, play, and service to others. So even just sitting down and reading your favorite book can make your life more enjoyable. My favorite sport is softball, but if I strike out or I don't feel the ground ball cleanly, I'll get a little angry at myself. But I know that I have to forget about it and move on because if I don't, I won't achieve my goals. My friends and family also help get me through these tough times by telling me to never give up and to not dwell on the past. My mentor, Miss Meadows, says that when she feels stressed and overwhelmed from all of the work she has on her hands, she'll take a deep breath in and let it out. So if I'm a little nervous for an upcoming test or quiz, I'll always know that I can take a deep breath to ease my mind. I like to think that life is like an animal, because a wild animal isn't tame. But you can tame that animal to make it more laid back. Your life is just like this. Your life can be adventurous and you can take a lot of risks if you want to, or your life can be more relaxed. I hope you see the importance of noticing the smaller things in life, just like seeing a penny on the side of the road. If it was you walking by that penny, would you stop to pick it up or would you keep walking by? Imagine your life depended on that penny. If you knew that today was your last day on earth, what would you do?